Hi, first class, Mr. Dunk here again, and we are looking at page 76 in our Planet Maths book. Um, okay, let's zoom in and see what we have to do. Okay, first thing is we need to number the people from tallest to shortest. So we had a look at uh, who was the tallest and who was the shortest out of a group of people yesterday. This time we're going to number them in order. Now, number one will be the tallest person. And number five, because there are five people, will be the shortest. So you can either go from one to five, or what you can do is you can look at the tallest. We have the tallest here. And we can look at the shortest, which is this person here. I'm going to give them the number five. And then we can figure out who's in between. So there's a couple of different ways to do it. Number two will then be the next tallest, or number four will be the next shortest. So I'll let you decide which way you want to do it. But we need all five numbers from one to five there. Okay. Now, we're looking at some words here. You only have to colour one thing. So for one, you have to colour the tallest uh, bridge. Two, highest wall. Three, the longest bit of, looks like, tape. Four, the shortest walking stick. And five, the lowest wall. Now, short and low and tall and high. They have very, very similar meaning. Pretty much the same meaning. Um, you might only use some words in different situations. So, for example, if you're talking about people, you talk about the the tallest person. You don't say who's the highest person in the group. You look at who the tallest person is. Um, if you are same with buildings, you probably go which is the tallest building in the world. Some people might use highest. Um, trees, maybe you would use highest or tallest. I, I don't know. Uh, for walls, anyway, we probably say highest rather than the tallest wall, which is the highest wall. And it's the same for short and lowest. If you're talking about person, you're going to say short person, not the lowest person. Okay. Now, longest, this is sort of the odd one out. We're looking, the, the other four, tallest, highest, shortest, and lowest, we're looking from down to up. How high up they go. For the longest, we're looking from side to side. Okay. As the, the longest length from one side to the other, horizontally. Okay, so I'll just do the first one for you. Which is the tallest bridge? Well, there's three quite low bridges here. They don't really get that high up. And this one goes up much higher. And actually, it's a much bigger bridge. It looks like a very famous bridge in America. I wonder if any of you have seen it. Maybe in the Spider-Man movies or maybe even in real life. I'm going to colour that one in yellow. Blue of the bridge I'm thinking of. Okay. Right. You can do the other four by yourself. B, we're looking at comparative adjectives. What does that mean, Mr. Dunk? Well, these are words with ER in them. So, quieter, faster, smaller, heavier. Uh, but here today, we're looking at the words lower, smaller, and shorter. And all of those words, in their own way, mean something that is smaller than something else. Okay. So we're not going to be drawing any big things, drawing small things. So a wall that is lower, well, a wall can be just as wide. So we can have a wall just as wide as one. We can even have a wider wall. I'm going to do my wall red. Do all the way. Oh my word! Oh, that's as far as I can draw. Okay, that's the bottom of my wall. It's not a very straight line. B here is to make it lower. So that just means it doesn't go up as high. So I'm just going to have my wall go to there and do my bricks. A shoddy brickmanship here from Mr. Dunk. Don't have me build your house, okay? Well, if you give me enough money, I'll have a go at it. Okay, and so I need you to draw a smaller house. So I need you to think about what that means and a shorter brick. And that's it. That's the page. Not too difficult, I don't think. But if you have any problems or questions, let me know. I'll see you soon. Bye.